So my hair was previously flat ironed and it didn't take long before I was completely bored with and over the straight look. At this point I will usually do bantu knots on my previously flat ironed hair but I decided to use my flexi rods because I hardly ever use them. Uh, here you just see me take my hair out of the bun that I had it in. I wasn't exactly ready to wash my hair so I figured the flexi rod set would give me a little bit different look than just that bone straight hair that I had. The flexi rods that I have are purple, gray, and orange. I'm not exactly sure at this point which ones I'll be using to do my hair, but I will be using Organic Root Stimulators Olive Oil Smooth and Whole Pudding. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. I'm not exactly sure if I've used this before. I really don't remember. It's really lightweight and creamy in consistency, even though it has the word hold in the name. I find that it really doesn't give much hold. I'm gonna be using small to medium size sections. I don't want my sections to be too small because I'm not really that good at using the flexi rods. So I'm going to be using about that much for each section. I also want to make sure that I don't use too much product because I don't want my hair to start to quickly revert uh, as this product does have water in it. So I'm going to just use a smaller comb to smooth that through. I'm starting with the gray flexi rods first. Those are the ones that I think I only have a few of. I'm really not sure how to start twisting or setting my hair with these. And as you can see here, I start to twist my hair and then the bottom comes, comes up. I really didn't want to add too much product on my hair though. So that could be part of the reason why the ends kept sticking out. to my second section now and even as I'm bending the end of the flexi rod to set and secure the hair you can see that the hair is still sticking out on the end there I'll show you a closer look in just a second and then on this one it just came loose as you can see I'm really not good at this. Like I said, a couple of them I had to do more than once just to get them to stay. So then I realized that I only have six gray flexi rods. I don't know why, they tend to disappear. And so I'm moving on to, I think I'm going to use the purple ones instead of the orange ones. The orange ones are smaller and I have a lot more of the purple ones. Okay, so now I'm done and I used a total of 12, so six gray and six purple ones. And that one section right there that I'm touching, that one was really huge. So later on, I decided to take that one down and use two flexi rods there instead of that one big section. And now I'm looking at all the sections where my hair is coming coming out at the bottom. But I decided not to really worry about it. It was late and I was really tired. So I figured I would just blend my hair the next day when I took them out. It really wouldn't be that big of a deal because it was only a small amount of hair. So now it's the next morning, I'm ready to take these out. Can I just tell you, I did not sleep very well at all with these things. I'm quite sure that has a lot to do with how I set my hair with them, how I rolled my hair. And also two of them came out at night. So I wasn't sure how those sections were gonna come out. So first I have just a little bit of coconut oil on my hands, which I always add to my hands before I take these types of styles down. And now so far as I'm taking these down, I can tell I'm going to really like it. The curls are not all uniform or the same size, but they don't have to be because that's not really the look that I was going for. I just wanted to add some curls to my hair so that it wouldn't be so straight like it was before. Music 
and with no particular style or direction in mind, I'm just separating the curls. And now this section that's a little bit more loose that you can see I'm trying to blend, that's one of the ones that came out the night before while I was asleep. And now I'm looking at my edges and they definitely need some attention. So I'm going to go for the olive oil edge control. Now I'm just putting a little bit on my edges. I'm going to mostly use my fingers at first to smooth it on and then I'm going to use my bristle brush. It's going to be a little um, hard to work with. I, I like the product but it's really tacky and sticky so with this kind of style it just has to be blended very well and then I'm going to take and cover my hair over that part anyway. So then here are just a few pictures from the same day and then I think two days later I did more flexi rods and the results were pretty similar, a little bit different but pretty similar. And then after that I didn't do any more flexi rods so I just kind of threw it back a little bit.